I've been curious about wireless charging for a while now and I've finally gotten it set up for my phone and if you want to do this yourself you should know that there are two wireless charging standards one of them is called Qi it's spelled QI and the other one is the PMA standard and I decided to go with the Qi standard as it is less expensive easier to install and less bulky so it's better for installing into a phone Depending on the type of phone that you have, the receiver for wireless charging may be a little bit different. Today I'm going to show you how I installed the wireless charging receiver into my phone, the Samsung Galaxy S3. And I will talk about some of the initial concerns that I had about wireless charging, as well as some of the advantages that I found along the way. So for the past two years or so, what I've been doing to charge my phone by plugging it in is I have to take off my case because the charger doesn't fit with my case on. And then here we go, I plug it in and I have this uh, voltmeter to see how much current is getting into the phone. And here it's about 0.75 amps. And actually when I would plug it into the computer, it would only be 0.5 amps, which isn't very much. And uh, it would charge it quite slowly and one of my concerns is that wireless charging would actually make it charge even slower than that. I didn't think it would be very efficient. Uh, so now let's plug in the wireless charger and one of the benefits is I don't have to take my case off anymore and I can just place the phone and the blue light goes on to indicate that it's charging. Uh, if you don't have it placed correctly, the blue light will kind of flash on and off and the notification that my phone gives me to tell me that I'm wireless charging also flashes on and off. So I'm just going to adjust it until this blue light is solid. We're good to go and the current's a little bit stronger now. It was at uh, 0.8 amps now. So it was actually slightly better than when I had it plugged in. Uh, through directly through the charger and quite a bit better than when I had it plugged into the computer. Now, due to the convenience of me not having to always take my case off and such to charge my phone, I'll be more likely to charge it more often and thus increase the life of my battery since if you are constantly having your phone battery go from 100% down to 0%, um, it'll only last about two years or so. There's only a maximum number of times that your battery can really do that. Whereas if you're going from say 100% down to 50 and then back to 100, you can actually have your battery last more like four years. These are the two components that you'll need. The first is the Qi wireless charging pad and the other would be the wireless charging receiver. And these were actually quite cheap, about $12 for both of them together. And I'll put links in the description below of where I bought them. The shipping took about three weeks. First step will be to install the receiver into the phone. And that's quite easy to do. So I'm just gonna take the back off of my phone and there are these two pins inside my phone. You just want to line up these two pins on the receiver with the ones on my phone and I'm just going to use a little piece of tape to keep that in place. So now I've finished putting the back back onto my case. So now let's check that it works. And the blue light goes on and my phone tells me that it's wireless charging. So we know that it's working. As you can see, setting up this wireless charging was very easy to do. And what's great is you could use this for a variety of devices, including tablets. You just have to make sure that you choose the right receiver for your device. And what's also great is these make great gifts. There's also really no disadvantages to wireless charging. By the way, if you're interested in getting one of these volt amp meters for yourself, I'll put a link in the description below of where you can buy one. It was only about two or three dollars. 
if you use NFC on your phone, the wireless charging receiver can actually interfere with that. So I'll leave a link below of how you can get around that. Or also you can buy wireless charging receivers that don't have the foil so therefore doesn't interfere. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave them in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye everybody.